Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We continue our journey into data science, data engineering, data ingestion, and playing with data at Microsoft Fabric. In this episode, we have a privilege of hosting Jenny as we are going to discuss Fabric Spark Autotune, a new feature combined together with a run series job analysis. Hey Jenny, nice to have you here. Hi, Esther. Thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure to do in the session with you, talk about Autotune and the run series. Yeah, that's great. So let's dive right in. Can you tell us more uh, what's the run series job analysis functionality about? Yeah, definitely. Uh, essentially, the run series analysis feature classifies the Spark application into different run series based on the item type, such as low book SGAD or pipeline activities. This feature auto scans the run series for performance training analysis across Spark applications, and it detects any anomaly among all the Spark application runs. In particular, it offers several benefits. Uh, first one, it allows the run series comparison. You can compare the duration of a particular logbook run with that, of, with that of previous runs and evaluate whether the input and output data is the root cause of the prolonged run durations. So that's the first benefit. The second benefit, this feature auto performs the anomaly detection and analysis. It highlights any outliers in the run series and analyze those outliers and pinpoint the potential contributing factors. So that's the second benefit. The third benefit, they, it also allow user to view a detailed information for a particular run instance. If you click on a particular run instance, the feature will give you, give you all those detailed information about the time distribution, and it can also give you some recommendations, some analysis about the performance in enhancement opportunities. So that's the third benefit. And the fourth benefit, you can also with the corresponding Spark confirmation used for each run. Uh, that including the auto-tuned configuration at the Spark SQL queries. Moreover, to summarize, moreover, you basically you can leverage run series analysis feature to compare and analyze the outcome of the auto-tune. It allows you to view the performance for a particular run along with the corresponding input and output data. It also examines the execution time breakdown for each run and observe the auto-tune configuration values for each Spark SQL queries. Yeah, basically that's a quick summary about the Spark Run series feature. So to recap, uh, the key benefits are comparison of the run series, so on the repetitive execution of notebook of a job, detection of outliers, right? And uh, details about the specific running instance view. Correct. So now just to keep all of us informed, uh, I would love to discuss the feature name Autotune. This feature is with us since the last few weeks. It has been in private preview, then right now it's in a public preview. And let's start with what Autotune does. So Autotune automatically fine tune Spark settings. Why? just to reduce execution time and optimize efficiency. You can do it manually. You can right now, you can tune your jobs or query by query uh, by hands based on your deep expertise in Apache Spark. And it's challenging. We all know that uh, because of it, we apply the newest technologies, machine learning algorithms to observe if you enable able to tune, we are observing the query, query by query, and which query we are analyzing and gathering the telemetry about the query. We are not checking the data, we are just checking the pattern of the query and how the query is accessing the data. Based on that, we are adjusting Spark settings based on our knowledge, which are impacting your query in the most significant way. Right now, Autotune adjusts three Spark settings. The first is Spark SQL shuffle partitions. The second is Spark SQL auto broadcast join threshold. 
used especially when you are doing joins in Spark. And the third Spark setting is Spark SQL files max partition bytes. Again, the setting that is heavily used when you are reading the data. And what's very important here, and that's the bridge between auto-tune my feature and the feature run serious job analysis coming from Jenny. So the link is that auto-tune works for recurrent queries. It means that if you run a query, meaning let's associate that you run a notebook or a Spark job definition every day for a few minutes because that's part of your bronze to silver layer or you are doing some ETL processing. So if you have a recurrent job, recurrent query, if the query is long running, meaning that it takes more than 15 seconds to execute, if the query is written by using Spark SQL API, Autotune is going to optimize. So just three caveats. It has to be a recurrent query, long running queries, and written with Spark SQL API, meaning that you can use Scala, PySpark, R, Spark SQL, but the API that you leverage must be Spark SQL, not RDD. And then Autotune is going to optimize those settings and bring you benefit. And right now I'm showing you the, um, the chart, the chart coming from one of the customers. In this case, we started with execution time in around 500 seconds and with over and over after iterations that can happen every minutes, every hour, every day by applying Autotune, that feature, we are going to minimize execution time. And that chart has been created by just a very simple uh, telemetry based uh, analysis tool. But because like we analyze tele telemetry and we capture those results, but for every user, it must be super simple to observe what's your execution time for your recurrent job. And that's connection be between autotune, meaning that it's challenging to observe the impact of, of autotune without using RAM serious job analysis. So maybe right now it's the perfect time to do the demo. Here is the Fabric Monitoring Hub for all Spark activities. As I navigate through my Spark tasks, I've noticed that one of our notebook pipelines has been running for an unusually long time. Let's dive deeper by using the Monitor Run Series feature, accessible from the context menu of this notebook run activity. This allows us to view past notebook run activities from the same pipeline. Here we are on the Run Series Analysis page. It automatically displays past run instances of this notebook from the pipeline. Observing the duration trend, I can compare the duration of the current run with previous instances, helping us identify any discrepancies or patterns over time. I can also view the input and output data for each run instance and evaluate whether the prolonged run duration was due to increased data processing or other factors. If I want to know more about a specific run instance, I can click on it to view detailed information about its time distribution and identify opportunities for performance improvement. I can also click on the Spark execution duration to see the breakdown of the execution time and further identify opportunities for optimization. For advanced Spark running scenarios, I can also view the corresponding Spark configuration that was used for that notebook run. For the notebook run with Autotune enabled, I can view the Autotune optimized configuration for each Spark SQL query. If there are any outliers in this run series, the run series analysis engine scans the Spark executions and detects the outlier. It also analyzes the outlier and locates the potential contributing factors. Thank you for watching. Now let's see how Autotune works with run serious job analysis, just yeah. to capture the specific benefits that Jenny presented and mentioned previously. Yeah, yeah, basically it's our auto-tune, the goal is to make sure the Spark is performed by default. We want to make sure everything is optimized by default. So the run service feature allow you to view the kind of performance improvements across different Spark application runs. You can test and validate the performance is optimal. So, so that's kind of by joining two features together, you are able to monitor and ensure the performance is optimal for the performance as well as for the cost. 
And now let's do the demo of autotune specifically, also in the context and to emphasize run series job analysis. Setting up Spark for optimal performance, it's tough, but should be easy. That's why we made autotune. Now we are going to see how everyone can reduce job execution times thanks to the automatic AI-based intuition built into our Spark runtime. I already have a notebook for which I enabled our unique feature, Autotune, just by running a single cell with the flag Spark MS Autotune enabled set to true. Then I wrote a query which runs some aggregations and process big data. Imagine this query is part of the bronze to silver layer or maybe to gold as well. Now let's schedule the notebook to run every 10 minutes as Autotune targets repetitive queries. Let's take a look at the historic runs to see the execution time. Let's go to monitor run series. And thanks to the feature name recurrent job analysis, we can see the full metrics for the previous run of the same query. As you can see on the chart, we started with the execution time around eight minutes. This is not a simple query and it processes billions of rows. When a Spark query is executed, Autotune generates a tailored ML model for that specific query. This model is designed to understand and optimize the query's execution by analyzing patterns. Autotune configures three Spark settings for each of your query separately. It configures the number of partitions to use when shuffling data for joints or aggregations. It configures the maximum size in bytes for a table that is broadcasted to all worker nodes. Autotune defines the maximum number of bytes to pack into a single partition when reading files. To recap, Autotune automatically adjusts Apache Spark configurations to minimize workload execution time and optimize overall performance. This feature empowers you to achieve greater efficiency with fewer resources. And the best part, as of now, Autotune is available in all regions, so you can easily enable it for all your Spark notebooks and jobs. I'm super happy that uh, you could watch it, you could uh, experience and see and witness how Autotune works with uh, run serious job analysis. Here is one more uh, demo uh, I want to um, show you, I want to present. Uh, it's time for Yuin, our principal data scientist who has worked on Autotune specifically for the last uh, a few years because bringing ML-based solution to reality and to the engine like Apache Spark, which is super complex, is challenging and it requires cross-team collaboration also with the team of data scientists. So uh, Ewin is going to lead us through the details how we used, how we applied machine learning in action in Autotune. Hi, Estera. Sure. Uh, the data science behind Autotune involves developing an algorithm to search for the configuration space, the one that comes with the best performance. And specifically, one of the biggest challenges we are looking at is about the potential performance regression, especially during the first few iterations of uh, exploration. So a lot of the traditional algorithms, they will search for all the different spaces, about the different combinations, and some of them might potentially be very, very bad configurations. So that might lead to bad customer performances. And the second one is that we are trying to see on the other side of the story whether we can leverage some type of gradient descent type of approach to look for the configuration that has the best performance. However, this type of approach sometimes converge very slow. So with Autotune, we develop a new algorithm that combines the best of the two, that we both leverage a guided search from a machine learning model while we confine our search space to a very small region such that we can avoid potential huge performance regression from there. And the second challenges we observe is in the production environment, we always have a lot of noises in our observation. So this guided search sometimes might be um, misguided to a wrong direction. So for that, what we try to do is to leverage statistic analysis to learn what is the trend of the configuration versus the performance overall. So as opposed to like you see here, we have a little stitch because of the configuration and maybe some noises, but the general trend is telling us that increasing the configuration will result in a better performance. And then in the next iteration, we will move towards that. 
And the last piece we are get, we're adding here is we have a God rail that we developed to automatically um, determine the situation whether we are looking into a performance regression in the future. And then with that, we will automatically send an alert to the team for investigation and also turn off the feature um, just to post and fall back to the default. So with all the three pieces together, uh, that is the feature you are seeing in the production. Thank you. Janet, thanks a lot for joining me here today as that was a huge fun to share lots of details about Autotune combined with run serious job analysis. I want to ask a question because again, those two features are still in public preview. What are your plans to push run serious job analysis to the GA stage? What's the timeline? Yeah, that's a great, great question, as Sarah. Yeah, a lot of customers ask for this question as well. And we are looking to GA this feature maybe in a few months down the road. So basically right now, we really like to get the customer feedback and to improve the experience to a new level. And the second, we'd like to make sure those features meet all those like accessibility, some other fundamental compliance requirement before you announce the GA. Yeah, but definitely it's in our roadmap to go into public as a GA feature in a, in a few months. Yeah. Awesome. And I can commend that a seminar for Autotune because this is a performance related feature and uh, moral, like we know how customers are using Apache Spark and our engine. At the same time, there are so many combinations, what customer can do, what you can do. That's why I encourage you, if you enabled uh, Autotune, if you want to share the results with me or you have any insights, please reach out to me directly through different so social media or directly by email. I'm happy to chat. I I'm looking to gather the customer evidence coming from the first hand, coming from you and coming from your scenarios because validating performance features using TPCDS, TPCH, TPCDI, different benchmarks is not always a reliable option. We love to see the impact of that functionality on your data, on your scenarios, on your queries. Good. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button, leave the question, subscribe the channel. And until the next time, happy playing with Autotune and run serious job analysis and exploring how you can use Fabric the Spark. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next time. <laughs>